In this lesson, we will explain the meaning and the many uses of the important mathematical symbol known as pi. The symbol for pi is the Greek letter for p. It is spelled p, i, and is pronounced pi. The first use of pi is attributed to the Greek mathematician Archimedes in 250 BC. British mathematician, William Jones, was the first to use the Greek letter for pi in 1707. Pi has a constant value and it is defined as the ratio of the circumference, c, of a circle to its diameter, d, so mathematically pi is equal to c divided by d. The value for pi can be measured approximately, and calculated precisely. How can we measure the value of pi? An approximate value can be obtained using a piece of string and any perfectly round object like a large can of hairspray. Measure the diameter of the round object with a metric ruler. A value of 6.6 .6 cm is typical for a spray can. Wrap a piece of string tightly around the can, and tie a knot. Remove the circular string by sliding it off the can. Now cut it in half at the opposite side of the knot. In the example shown in the diagram, the diameter of the can, D, is 6.6 .6 cm. Stretch the string and measure its length. In the example shown in the diagram, the length, L, is 20.9 cm. Pi can be calculated by dividing the length of the string, which is equal to the circumference, C, by the diameter, D, of the spray can. This gives an approximate value for pi of 3.16. This is because the precision of our measurement is only plus or minus 0.5 cm. To calculate the precise value of pi, draw a circle with a diameter of 8 cm, then draw a right triangle within an eighth of the circle as shown in the diagram. The triangle will have two angles of 45 degrees. Each vertical and horizontal side will have a length of 4 cm. The arc that forms the 1 8 slice of the circle shown in the diagram is defined in radians. Students who have studied trigonometry will be familiar with radians as well as other functions such as tangents and arc tangents. The conversion of degrees to radians uses pi in the equation where radians are equal to pi, multiplied by the value of degrees divided by 180. So for 45 degrees, radians will be equal to pi times 45 divided by 180. Thus the number of radians will be equal to pi divided by 4. The tangent of the 1 8th arc in radians is defined by the equation, where A and B are the vertical and horizontal sides of the triangle. Each has a value of 4 cm, so the tangent of pi divided by 4 is 1. To simplify the calculation, we use the arc tangent, which is equal to pi divided by 4. We then transpose that to 4 times the arc tangent to give the value of pi. Using a spreadsheet program like Excel, we can find the arc tangent of 1, which has the value shown. Multiplying this number by 4 gives the precise value of pi to 14 decimal places. Most people use the approximate value of 3.1415. Now let us show how pi is used to make calculations of the size of various geometric shapes. To calculate the circumference of a circle, c, we multiply pi by the diameter, d, of the circle. The radius, r, is half of the diameter, so the circumference can also be calculated by multiplying pi by 2 times the radius. To calculate the area of a circle, a, multiply pi by the radius r squared. To calculate the area of a circle, a, using the diameter, D, multiply pi by the diameter squared, then divide by 4. To calculate the surface area of a sphere, AS, 
using the radius, r, multiply 4 times pi, times the radius squared. To calculate the volume of a sphere, vs, with the radius, r, use the equation, vs equals 4 thirds pi times r cubed. To calculate the volume of a sphere, vs, with the diameter, d, use the equation, vs equals 1 sixth times pi times d cubed. In summary, the circumference of a circle is 3.14159 times its diameter. This value is defined by the Greek letter pi. The circumference of a circle, c, can be calculated by multiplying its diameter by pi or by 2 times its radius times pi. The area of a circle, a, is equal to pi times the radius squared. It can also be calculated by multiplying pi times the diameter squared and dividing the product by 4. The surface area of a sphere, as, is equal to 4 times pi times the radius squared. The volume inside a sphere, vs, can be calculated from the radius by using the equation vs equals 4 thirds pi times the radius cubed. The volume inside a sphere, Vs, can be calculated from the diameter by using the equation Vs equals 1 sixth pi times the diameter cubed. This presentation was produced as a public service to help middle school and high school science teachers develop experiments, presentations, and demonstrations that can be used in their classes. More science experiments and demonstrations are available on the Tops of Santa Clara Valley website at www.topsofscv.org. Tops, Teaching Opportunities for Partners in Science, is a program aimed at stimulating greater interest in science by middle school students.